Raw Facts coming back at you again, and we gonna give you the facts. Today we're gonna talk about the comeback of Big Baller Brand. I'm also gonna give my afterthoughts on the AB The Hero interview. Okay, so let's go. This Black Friday, in a few days, will be one to remember. Because we're going to witness the most awaited and dreaded comeback of a brand that we have ever seen. We all know that LaMelo said to LeVar that he wanted to focus on his basketball career. And Lonzo told LeVar he would have to build the brand back up to a good standard before he would join. Well, like the movie said, if you build it, they will come. And ladies and gentlemen, we have come. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? There, of course, are people in this world who are brainwashed and experts at being haters. They will hate no matter what. If Triple B came out and had the best quality clothes that they ever seen before and the best quality shoes that they ever wore and it was all reasonably priced, they would still burn it. They would say burn everything. Because it's not about the shoes or the clothes, really. It's about jealousy, hate, political correctness, high-mindedness, and self-discontentment. They hate that someone would do something different. They hate that someone would refuse to stay in line. They hate people who are not quiet and passive. It's the same mind of people who hated Rosa Parks. The same mind of people who hated America when they separated from the British. They hate people who strive for anything better in a fashion that they don't like. So to all you haters, you have been given my channel. This channel is payment for and in the effect of all the hate you have dished out. Ball facts is retribution. So on Black Friday, when Big Baller Brand drops and you see all the new gear that Jermaine Jackson and his son has been wearing. All the new G3 gear. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers. From me and my homie, Talk G so. Honcho. Look, get my shoes right quick. Get Talk my cool. shoes. G, Z, come here. Oh, oh my original. shoes. Original. Original G <laughs> Honcho. Ain't nobody get these. Ain't nothing for sale. But happy Father's Day to everybody. This is what we do. We ain't trying to send no text messages out. out happy here, Father's man. Day, spread bro. We love, out here. Bro. BBB, love, CTL. You know how we do. Oh, well. Goodbye. Dog food up and out. Purple go. Holla. Boy. All the new drip. I hope you vomit with disgust in yourself for hating on a family. I will have a new BBB hat right next to my ball fax hat hanging up in my closet. And yes, I need those new MB1s. I hope they're lower prices, <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comment section. Y'all let me know if y'all getting some merch too. You know, if it's priced well, would you get some? I know y'all will. And because of my last video on my interview with AB The Hero, we know that Lonzo and LaMelo are signed with BBB, Big Baller Brand, rather than another company. Now we know why LeVar was so boastful. Now we know. And we know why he was so sure of himself when TMZ asked if his boys were signing with another company. He knew they already made their choice to come back home. The right people are in the right place now and the quality will be much better than when Allen was in control of the quality. I was glad to hear that when AB told me that in that interview. And I was also glad to break the story here at Ball Facts. Now, I want to give my thoughts on our conversation. I want to talk about how I felt about the interview. So first off, I want to say I was surprised that he wasn't going at Allen. I thought he was gonna seize the chance to blast Allen and say how ungrateful he was and how wrong Allen was for putting out personal business on the Ball family to try to damage their reputation and just destroy their chances on future success. I was really caught off guard, I must admit. But there was so much 
of this interview that you guys miss. And you missed it because we had technical difficulties on both of our ends. And I literally couldn't use 50% of the interview. And you could hear different times that it was like glitch in the interview of the part that I put out. But concerning AB on Allen, whenever he talked about him, he was treading so softly. I thought he was in the room with Allen at the time. And he had to say like, now nah, I'm not trying to side with Allen. And it just caught me off guard. But I, but I immediately put myself in his shoes And I tried to understand where he was coming from Because without Alan We wouldn't know who he was You know If someone gave me a shot And they never did me wrong It would be a little hard and weird to bash him But it is what it is You know The way I feel about it is If I was cool with Hitler And he never did me wrong But he killed one million Jews I'm going to just have to say, you bogus. Now, AB said that Allen already had some money before Big Baller Brand and he liked to travel the world. So let's get the timeline. Prior to BBB, it was and it was after the con man job that Allen pulled on the church ladies. And after his jail time is when LeVar contacted him. So where he got this money, I do not know. But he said Allen put up the front money. And I don't know how much it was, but I asked A.B. If Allen didn't put up the front money, do you think LeVar still would have got a different investor and made Big Baller Brand? And A.B. said yes. He said, but they most likely would have done a co-brand with a big company like a Nike or Adidas. A.B. told me that, you know, Big Baller Brand would have been here. It just wouldn't have been the independent company like it is. Now that could be true or not, I can't say. So let's say it's true and Allen is responsible for getting in LeVar's ears and helping him to see that a self-owned business is a better option for his legacy and generations to come. I can admit that, that that would be cool. That's cool. I can also admit that it was LeVar's choice to go with it. He was offered the red pill or the blue pill like Neo in the Matrix and he chose the self-owned independent business pill. We have to give credit where credit is due. Morpheus is not the one. Neo is. Give LeVar credit where it's due. He raised the boys. He trained the boys. And he chose to do it self-owned. Just because Alan made a suggestion, he doesn't get credit for what LeVar did. No. AB basically said Allen was mad at the Ball family for believing the accountant over over him. You know, Allen wanted the Ball family to ignore the numbers and just believe his words. But guess what? Numbers don't lie and your rap sheet proves that you do. Can you blame this family for believing the numbers over you? Come on, put yourself in this family's shoes. And once they don't side with Allen's like that's when his true colors came out you drop a whole video series dedicated to destroying this family's character and trying to ruin their them professionally if you truly loved someone like you said and wanted the best for them how could you do this these videos that you put out confirm the family's suspicions of you it proves that while you are around them, smiling in their face, receiving their money, you are in inwardly disapproving of everything about them. Let's say the accountant was lying and he was wrong on his mathematics. You still are not justified in your assault on this family. You are straight malicious. And another thing AB told me was Alan stole all kinds of triple B clothes out of the warehouse and sold them. That's why you heard all on the news that the clothes were being sold for really cheap and all this stuff because Alan took the clothes and sold them to a third party and the third party was selling them and the family wasn't getting any of that money. Trifling. But overall, I really did love the interview. I, and I actually really like AB despite our differences with the Allen thing. And I hope we can work together in the future. And I do have the utmost respect for him. And I will refer people to him. And I hope the best for him. So thank you, AB the Hero.
You know, he took a chance on me by giving me exclusive information. But anyway, back to the brand. The brand is back. And I want to see these new clothes. I want to see the new ZO2s, the MB1s, and G3s. All we got to do is stay in tune with the Ball family on Facebook and Instagram so we can see how to get this gear. Anyway, congratulations to the Ball family. Tina, keep your head up. All right, guys, share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ball facts again.